Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate those who are returning and for those who are new, welcome to my channel. This one's a quick recipe that I thought I put together because of how cold it is out there. We need this, so let's go. You need one large broccoli, four large sweet potatoes, and five to six medium red potatoes, three large celery sticks, three large carrots, two pak choy cut into vertical slivers. You need one cup of each kale and spinach. And there's my hand again. Two to three cloves of garlic, diced how you prefer. There's so many ways to chop onions. I find the two that work best for me are these. And remember, chunky is always better. Saute your onions on a medium heat until they start slightly browning. Once you've sauteed the onions, add in your sweet potato and your red potato. It's time for all the hard veg to go in. Add your carrots and cook for five minutes while stirring. Now you can add your celery and pak choy. And lastly, add your broccoli, cut down to the size you prefer. Now add your pepper and maram. Also add your pimento, which will really enhance the flavor. Once done, make a little well because it's time to add your stock you in slow motion. ASMR. You can now add in as much water as it takes to cover the vegetables, but don't make the same mistake I did. Hot water burns, be careful. Because I'm making a large pot, this would be where you add the extra seasoning to bring the flavor up to the level you desire. Now stir, 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 and keep stirring, and stir some more, and stir a little bit more. Now my favorite moment, the scotch bonnet, the king of the heat. Drop this in with two pieces in the side. Let that simmer down for about 10 to 15 minutes without the lid. Stir occasionally. Now add your kale and spinach and let that wilt down on a low to medium heat. It's time to cover and let it cook through. Place the lid on and make sure the heat is no higher than medium and cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Double check your hard vegetables to make sure they cook through. A knife should easily go through like this. If you don't like heat, this would be where you take the scotch bonnet out. Make sure you hold it by the stem so you don't get it on your fingers. We're going to blend down about half of the vegetables here, so you're going to need some help. If you have a hand blender, you can use this, or an upright blender is fine. You can blend half the vegetables in the pan as it is, but be careful not to splash yourself. If you remove the vegetables from the pan, this would be the point where you re-add. You should get quite a thick consistency with some lovely vegetables flowing in it. At this point, you may add additional seasoning to enhance the flavor, but we're almost ready. It needs something else. Now my favorite is sourdough bread, but you can use any bread you want. Time to serve. Now plate up and serve. Enjoy. This is the Vegan Vital Kitchen. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support.